Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. Okay, I got the Lulu sampler, which has red beans and rice, gumbo, jambalaya, and etouffee. Plus, it's got the shrimp and grits. Well, lo and behold, Melissa couldn't finish her shrimp and grits. Mm. What all they didn't have besides the shrimp, Melissa? What's that crunchy thing I had? Oh, fried okra. Mm. I think. Very good. Like cheesy grits, shrimp, chives. What else is that, Melissa? I don't know. Long A, short A. Now a word from my sponsor. Shop secondhand first with Peddler's Mall. New products are added daily by our vendors. Vintage, antiques, uniques, furniture, clothing, collectibles, crafts, gifts, oddities, home decor, and more. Hundreds of vendors in every location. You never know what you will find. Interested in becoming a vendor? Contact us today. 18 locations across Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, and West Virginia. Open seven days a week. All right, so this is the advantage to being the only fat guy in the group because I can eat everybody else's leftovers. I've literally had leftovers from everybody at this table except for uh, Eddie's friend. But this is the red beans and rice with andouille sausage. So you just took other people's leftovers? That's what he does. That's how he rolls. Yeah. Of course, Nothing I have to accentuate Can I have that? Wait, 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 wait. Let me get that. All right. I had to accentuate. I did once see this guy lose a, a Whopper eat-off, though. He ate six Whoppers, but the guy he was going against had six and then ate a Whaler just to beat him. <laughs> I wasn't even going to do a review tonight. Because it was date night, and Melissa forbade me yet, to do a are. review. Yet, but this food was so good, I had to at least do a preview, a YouTube short, just to let y'all know what to expect when I come back and do the full review. All right. So my friend Eddie over here gave me his leftover muscles. And I was like five or six left. Jason had some over here, paint over some wood. But here's the best part, folks. You got to sop it up with the focaccia bread into the gravy. This is the ticket. Short clip. Oh yeah, sorry. I didn't mean to be in the background. All good. Piping it up. All right. I forgot to mention that I had done a previous review of the sister location called Lulu Food and Drink, which is located in St. Matthews. You can see that Melissa and I, we had the shrimp and grits there. But most importantly is that I had the authentic Chicago pizza. You see on the title of the previous video, it says authentic Chicago pizza in Louisville, Kentucky. Well, that's true. And it's really the only spot that you can get authentic Chicago pizza. Also, you can see toward the end of the video here, there's toys in the background. I was talking about their big fundraiser they do at Christmas time where they raise money and get toys for kids of restaurant employees from around the city. So I can get behind any restaurant that has children's charity causes and you definitely want to get one of those Chicago pizzas. I don't know nothing about this Lulu on Market. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a 
mission, you're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.